Hi, Towson. I'm Cody Boatler, your news editor. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did this weekend. Um, so on Sunday, I drove up to New York City. If you're considering driving up to New York, don't do it. You will never get out of the traffic. Um, anyway, I drove up with a couple of my friends from high school for the People's Climate March. Um, and so we were a part, or we were inside of a crowd of over 400,000 students and families and other groups that were marching to you know, show that they cared about climate change and to demand immediate action be taken to mitigate some of the damages from it. Um, and, you know, it was it was not like other protests that I'd heard about or been to or seen, you know. There was no negativity, no uh, conflict with the police or anything like that. It was very positive. Everyone was very enthusiastic and optimistic the entire way through. Um, and, you know, there was, there was one part where the entire four-mile-long chain of people, you know, all 400,000 people in the middle of downtown New York, fell silent as a moment of silence um, to recognize the people who have already died or been affected by changes from climate change. And then after after the moment of silence for a couple seconds, there was this roar that you could hear coming from the back of the chain all the way up to the front. And, you know, that was that kind of solidarity and that kind of moment of all those people working together was one of the coolest things that I've experienced. Um, anyway, that's about all I can really say without just rambling and sounding, sounding like a lunatic. Um, and this week's cover story touches a little bit on this, and later in the week um, I'll be writing a story that covers the march from a Towson faculty member's perspective, so you guys can look forward to that. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good week.